just bugging. Hey guys, this is one badass 1979 Super Beetle Baja buggy. I mean, it's some quality work. They sacrifice a perfectly good convertible to do this. And it is the stiffest Super Beetle or any Beetle that I've ever driven in. As you can see in the videos, the, the reinforcement tubes under the hood in the front. And the roll cage is intertwined with the chassis and the side rails. And it is as stiff as my 2016 Challenger. Now, uh, he's got a lot of toys and this is the one. He's willing to let this one go. He's looking for a new toy. So this one's up for sale starting at 16500 or best offer and believe me when you see it there's got to be thirty thousand dollars worth of work done to this car it is just a mean machine make an offer he's willing to trade for something in cash or if you got something interesting and you really want this hit him up and send us an email we'll get in contact with the owner for you and put you in touch with him so check this video out you'll like this beast now on with the video mm. you know he's only run off three quarts of oil to start with I think it's got a deep sump pan on it. does. On. That, that adds another quart and a half. I just put brand new oil. I called MP and he said, because I didn't build a motor, so he told me, drain the oil, because you don't know what the guy put in it. He told me what to put in it, high zinc. Mm -hmm. So, you get 20, uh, 20 50 with yeah. high zinc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're putting our motor. Looks like you got the fill in there. That's good. I mean, it starts nice and everything. It's got no chokes on it, so I don't mind. You don't put a... Somebody definitely spent the money on that. It was a guy from New York and he wanted some snowmobiles that I had. He said, I can't do nothing with this car. When I got it, it looked like shit. Yeah. You know, somebody, he probably left it outside and mm -hmm. I polished all the motor again and I spent a you lot don't. of time. Transmission's all welded shaft and billet gears, heavy duty transaxle. Sweet. Now, the, Super Beetle. And I, I it is? Now, yes. We, they used the, an original 79 wicked nice convertible. They sandblasted it because those are stronger, right? Right. And then they tied the, uh, the frame into it, the uh, roll wow. cage. I mean, hands down, this is the best looking Baja Super Beetle I've ever seen. <laughs> And he doesn't like Super Beetles, but I bet That's it handles. And I don't like Super Beetles. I bet it handles when nice. When they pull the defenders, and I said, I gotta have this great car. Yeah. Because yeah. I see some of the stuff you guys work on, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> and I think. You want to hear it real quick? Yeah. Already yeah. much. Alright guys, we've got the 1979 badass Super Beetle Baja with the big ass wing on the back. <laughs> Guy brought it in, said it was popping and everything. Uh, we went and test drove it, but I failed to put my GoPro and turn it on. So, uh, didn't get that footage, did we, Rick? No, 
Yeah. Yeah, I got a phone call right before I was supposed to turn it on. You know, ADD kicked in and I forgot. So uh, we get the push rod tubes on here backwards. Not us. We didn't do this crap. But uh, Rick's going to do a valve adjustment anyway. So he's going to pull the rockers, get these on there correctly with some new grommets on it and uh, do a valve adjustment on it. Set the timing, you know, check the adjustment and the carbs and uh, adjust the uh, shifter. We're going to get this uh, cooler hook back up. It's bypassed under here for some reason. Didn't think it was needed. And we got the, like calipers need shimmed or something. It's ticking up there as you're rolling slow, you can hear it. So just some minor adjustments on it and uh, get it all right so this gentleman can have some fun with it while he's down here from New Hampshire. So, and I may have said it was a 2276, it was a 2275. Rest assured, uh, you all should be aware that I am not the builder. <laughs> so uh, sometimes I'll come up and say the wrong thing at sometimes, so bear with me. We are going to take care of this bad boy, I tell you. Have some fun in this. ski -doo is what he calls it. Because like I said, he's from New Hampshire and he has a snowmobile shop. So of course that's why he calls it the sea -doo. Or ski -doo. Sorry, but down here we call it the sea -doo. You know, the, the little uh, jet skis. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Rick's done with the valve adjustment, and uh, of course, he went there to put the uh, push rod tubes back in correctly, the adjustable ones, uh, or spring-loaded ones, should I say, and we're gonna crank it up. Boy, that is a bad, mean machine. All right, guys, we noticed the left side valve cover gasket's leaking, and you know, these are special gaskets for the GT MP bolt-on valve covers, and just so happens, Bert has a good use set. They took off, he didn't want the bolt-ons, and he took them right off, and uh, so they haven't been out on the road or anything, you know, running in the motor, so that's our only option. You know, this guy's from out of town, so uh, my wife's gonna run up there real quick, and uh, thank God Bert saved the day. The other side's not leaking, so we got two opportunities, two good use gaskets, so that's should take care of that problem. Rick's uh, gonna adjust the uh, shifter. Anybody know where we could get one of those center consoles or what company makes it? Let us know. I haven't seen that one. That's a uh, sharp setup, isn't it, Rick? Yeah, it is. I sure like that. Yeah. So you see what's up with the shifter? Just in the wrong position. Oh, it's got the clip right there for the preventing from going into reverse. Yeah. Well, Rick found that the reverse lockout plate was on backwards. And uh, now he's trying to get it in the right position to, for everything to shift properly. Where do you start normally? In reverse. In reverse? Yeah. And then you jump up to third, you crisscross? Well, in reverse, it's the home position. And most, not always, but most generally, you're getting to where it'll go into reverse. This tight ratio, isn't it? Rick drove it the other day that I failed to turn the camera on. So uh, I'll drive it once my wife gets back with uh, some valve cover gaskets. Burke down at BW's, save the day. And um, we got two gaskets to try to get this one straightened out. And then Lewis can take his badass dune buggy back. Have some fun hunt down here in Florida in it and then uh, head back to New Hampshire soon. I think he's down here for only a couple weeks. So nice that he came by here and showed us this beauty of a 79 Super Beetle Baja that I have never seen one so sharp. I mean, look at those gauge pods and look at the nice uh, blue across the center of the dash. I, that is the finest 73 through 79 dash setup I've ever seen in one of these. It is really sharp. Hmm. And this is all, the frame's all tied in to the chassis. If I've shown anyone or if you've seen it, and it's as stiff as my Challenger. See, look at that. You'd never drive a stiffer 79 Super Beetle than this one. Wow. I mean, you can really drive this one fast, but I'm not going to find out because I don't take any customers' uh, cars out of the neighborhood. Just drive it in here. 30, 35 maybe. If I'm lucky, 40. <laughs> All right, well, I'm waiting on the valve covers, gaskets, and uh, be done with it. Hey, guys, it's a beautiful day here in Florida. Look at that sun. <laughs> well, uh, I replaced the uh, valve cover gasket. It's kind of stiff and hard, and you can see it split right there. So uh, I got a good use set from Bert. Thank God he had a set of his own. So that should do it. So he's got an extra one put under the hood with his uh, carburetor kit we didn't need. Rick adjusted the shifter yesterday, so, uh, still before I 
8 a.m. I'd rather wait a little bit longer before we test drive it. This uh, beast here is pretty loud. So uh, we're gonna do that soon and should get this off to the customer today so he can enjoy it before he has to go back up into the cold New Hampshire weather. <laughs> so stay tuned for more progress on the 79 Beast ski do the Baja Super Beetle. Hey guys, Rick and I are gonna go out and test drive the 79 Beast of a Super Beetle Baja. Get the shifter all adjusted, should be correct. And put another valve cover gasket on the left side that was leaking, should be good to go. I didn't see anything leaking before we left, so this is one hell of a ball hop. if you think this would be a great just bugging t-shirt with a custom theme i think we'll do it anyways sweet all right well that's that what a beautiful beautiful super beetle come out here and get our smudge prints off of it and uh send it home to its owner so uh soon to say goodbye to ski -Doo. Hey man, what we got here? Oh, that's the 79 Super Beetle, Super Baja ski do himself. Yeah, the owner, Lewis, is coming out to pick it up. It's uh, running like a champ now. The uh, passenger side carburetor was way out of adjustment, and uh, we got that right. The timing's good now, and um, like I said, we flipped the pushrod tubes. They were the spring-loaded ones that were in, somebody installed them backwards. So we replaced all 16 grommets. Left side valve cover was leaking. Found a good used one from Burt, thank God, up at V-Dubs. Had some himself and decided to switch valve covers, so we fixed that. And then the shifter was out of adjustment. The uh, lockout was in the in there backwards for the to prevent you from going into reverse. Rick got that adjusted. Took a little while because it's a different. It's inset inside the, the bottom of the shifter instead of you can move both plates around on a on a stock uh, shifter. So he got that right. We test drove it and uh, y'all saw that and went great. So uh, we're gonna say goodbye to the uh, ski do shortly here. And uh, there's good possibility this one could be a. The front of a t-shirt because you're not going to see one like this that often at all i've personally never seen such a tough super beetle baja i don't know if you noticed if i mentioned and this is a fiberglass hood but look at that how stiffened up this this chassis is and all of it's intertwined with the chassis underneath and you know they with these bars right here and then you know it's a, it was a convertible so it has the beam across the bottom that stiffens it up so they connected everything into that beam so it's quite a stiff ride you can drive this thing 80 miles an hour and feel secure so shortly the owner will be here and uh, we'll watch you drive away
Hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, this vehicle is up for sale or best offer. Also, he will take trades. If you guys want to support the channel, then check out our merch. Link in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just bugging of a day.